Good evening everyone, welcome to Benita at Night. Today we'll be talking about coronavirus and how it has left me homeless in a foreign country. Guys, ish has hit the fan. By the way, I don't swear. Um, I made a personal decision not to swear, to stop swearing a few years ago because it doesn't align with my brand. But you know what else doesn't align with my brand? Hmm? You know what doesn't align with my brand? Being kicked out doesn't align with my brand. Not having a place to go doesn't align with my brand. Coronavirus does not align with my brand. It's literally quarter to 12 at night. It is almost midnight, so obviously this video was not planned. I didn't plan to record a video tonight. What am I talking about? Earlier today, I got an email from my school saying basically that everybody had 24 hours to evacuate. Jesus is not! Because school is closing down. Because we've now reached the fifth stage, fifth and final stage of like, okay, basically, ish has hit the fan. And so everybody has to leave. There are people who were staying because they just didn't want to go back home. Maybe they had people that they didn't want to infect, or people live in different states and it's it takes a lot basically to move back to their state to go home. And of course, I myself, Benita Danielle Mdavazi, obviously had to stay on campus because I'm an international student. I'm studying in America, I'm South African. So now when they're telling us that you have 24 hours to evacuate, unlike the local students or American students, it's not about going back to my state or my town or a 20 minute drive. It's about where am I gonna stay? I need to find some way to stay. First of all, the way my mother raised me, she really set me up. I hate being at people's houses. I hate staying at people's houses. If I go to people's houses, I need to be there for like max half a day, a day, two days. Listen, more than that, I can't do it. I can't, I, I just, I can't, but I don't prefer to. I feel uncomfortable. I feel like I can't breathe because I just, my mom never let me go to anybody's house to sleep over, especially to stay there. So I always feel out of place and uncomfortable in people's houses. And it's not because they make me feel that way or they make me feel non-welcome, but just because of how I was raised and what I'm used to. I'm just not used to being at people's houses. And now I'm in a situation where I need to find some way to stay for the rest of the semester. Mind you, it's March. Okay, we still have the rest of March. We have April and school is ending early May. So if I'm staying in this country, then I need to find some way to stay for that time, you know, and it's about, okay, am I going to go stay with a friend? Which friend is going to take me in? Which friend wants me to come and stay in their house for like freaking months in their house? You know what I mean? And if not a friend, if I can't find a friend, then am I going to stay at a B&B, a hotel? That's too expensive. It's not sustainable, you know? Right now, I'm finding myself in a position of temporary homelessness. I don't have anywhere to go. I don't have family here. I'm alone in this country all by myself and I need to go find some place to stay. Where will the money come from? I have to pack up a whole room of stuff. How am I going to do that? Where am I going to put my stuff? You know, and um, all of this has just happened. So I'm still going to speak to like my parents and see maybe I'm going to go back home to South Africa. But that's going to be so tricky. If online sucks here while I'm at school and in America, then imagine going back home to South Africa and doing online learning where there is a time zone difference. Meaning, that I'm probably gonna have to be doing school stuff at early hours in the morning and flip my whole schedule around and stuff like that. And again, there's the issue of connectivity, the Wi-Fi, the connection, and you know, all these things. But also this thing of going back home, you know, there are now travel bans in places. Essays put travel ban on people coming from the USA. The USA has its own travel bans. I'm gonna keep you guys updated. This is just part one. So as things continue to unravel, I'm gonna record videos and just let you guys know what the update is. But for now, <laughs> your girl gotta find some way to live because of coronavirus! When all this stuff was happening and I was feeling anxious, I got down on my knees, I prayed, I anointed myself, and I said, God, it's in your hands. My life is in your hands. I, I prayed using Psalm 91 for myself and my family, um, but it's in God's hands, and, and God has never failed me, and He won't fail me. So, the next day. Guys, guys, you ever been so shocked? that all you do is just laugh because what else am I gonna do except laugh? So, 
okay as per the video I made yesterday I got an email today you know I said yesterday that we're gonna wait to hear back from the school and see what they have to say so we got that email and this person sent out an email and basically what they were saying was it's curtains guys it's curtains like that's what they said they were like it's curtains they were like you know um you know you should consider going back to your home country make sure that whatever flights you're gonna use make sure that you'll be able to get back into your country like that's crazy because we have chinese students what they about to do you know and italian students what they about to do but apart from that like who, who's gonna conjure up the cash to be able to pay for a flight to go back home an international flight at that because not everyone goes home during break I really don't know what to say honestly when I saw the email I just started laughing not because it's funny but you know when something is so shocking it's hilarious this whole thing this whole corona thing and the effects of it has been so shocking to me that I just laugh I'm, I'm, just, I'm an awkward person okay I laugh when I'm sad I laugh when I'm happy I just laugh it makes the pain go away actually it doesn't it doesn't make the pain go away it's just like <laughs> It's either you laugh or cry, and I would much rather laugh because real niggas don't cry. JK, we're not gonna stigmatize crying. Cry if you need to, okay? Cry your heart out. But anyway, that was just one email. I'm awaiting another email that's gonna come later in the day. So I'm probably gonna record a video again later in the day talking about it. Two hours later. I've spoken to my friend Angie, you guys might know her from the prank I did. Basically, this is my one of my best friends here. Her and her family were both like, you're coming here, of course you're coming here. Like, of course you're gonna come and stay with us. And so, honestly, I'm so grateful for that. I'm so grateful to know that they, I have people in my life who their friendship and their love is not just in words, but it's also manifested into action when you need it. You know they say when friends are dark... Wait, what? No, wait. <laughs> Yo, wow, when friends are dark. Uh, when days are dark, friends are few. So it just goes to show like when things are tough, who's gonna be there for you? And who cares and who cares to check up on you? Even if it's not like, oh, come stay at my house because a bit much. But simply just, um, yo, like, are you okay? It goes a long way, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I don't wanna just be all like entitled and be like, you didn't check up on me, blah, blah, blah. I also know and understand that Right now, everybody's going through it and everyone is dealing with shock and everyone is trying to figure out a way to handle their own business. And something that I've honestly learned is that sometimes when your friends or people you love are not there for you when you need it, it's not because, not all the time by the way, but I mean in a certain instance. Um, if it happens all the time, they don't care, you need new friends or new family or whatever. But that sometimes the reason why people are not able to be there for you and support you is because they don't have the strength, energy, courage to even support or be there for themselves. And if they can't carry themselves, how on earth are they gonna carry you as well? You know, so it's not always bad blood and it's not always, oh, you don't care about me. But sometimes people are just going through their own thing and they don't have the energy and strength ultimately to be there for you. Cold as that may sound, but honestly it is what it is. You gotta take care of yourself first and then take care of others. So yeah, I'll record a video later today when I get another email. But for now, guys, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm probably gonna go stay with Angie at her place. Thank you, Angie and fam. Appreciate you guys so much. The next day. Hi guys, so it's the next day and I just have a very quick update. Um, like I said, I'm updating you guys as these things are happening and as I'm getting these emails. And basically what this email said is that they've made a plan and international students are actually allowed to stay on campus. So basically what I'm telling you is that my brand is intact. My brand is aligned because I told you guys being kicked out is not does not align with my brand. Okay, not having a place to stay doesn't align with my brand. Coronavirus does not align with so basically my brand is here my brand is alive my brand is now my brand is happening it's live we are happy we are moving yeah we move guys remember i was saying that we move we move <laughs> we are still moving thank you jesus thank you lord you are so good um but yeah man it's good news i'm emotionally drained I'm emotionally drained. It takes a lot out of you. All the stressing that you do in a matter of three days, up, down, up, down, up, down. I don't have a place to stay. Then now they're saying leave. I found a place to stay. Now you can stay. 
it's a lot to handle there's a lot going on right now so i just i need a break i'm tired now okay if they're gonna send another email again to say you can live you know what they're just gonna have to drag me they're gonna have to move me here themselves because we are tired we are enough now you know anyway that's it for today guys i hope you like this video don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and i'll be back with more videos while on the road to 2k you see it's so hard i don't have to make hold my thing high so just so i can fit this thing inside here because my hair's a mess ah anyway share your experiences as well peace and love guys Thank you.